Bit, bit, Bitsy and Whipper. That lady that you can Oof. hear cackling in the background there. Um, we have a great relationship with her. She used to be our publicist and she left us. She just packed up and She left. said, get stuffed. I've got a better idea. No, she had a dream. She had a dream to write a book and she, her book is out now and we're very excited about it. It's called Currently Between Husbands. Cat the Heidi. Yeah! Yeah! the girl from the paper last weekend. Yes, the hot one. Fine. Kath, your um, natural ability to overshare is extraordinary. No. And the time that you spent here, um, mm-hmm. quite often, Tom <laughs> Ivey, um, who is very timid, I would oh, call yeah. you in and say, hey, Kath, <laughs> tell Tom what you just told us. Um, that was why Tom left the building most days. <laughs> I wondered why he's not in the in the studio. I know. You, Did uh, you draw a line anywhere in the book where you went, no, no. I can't talk about that? No. You no, see, you cover everything. Yeah, <laughs> see, and this is the thing. You, I mean, are you would you consider yourself unlucky in love? No, I've no. been very lucky in love, I yes. think. Yes, yes. Yes. I'm currently unlucky in love. Yes. But, yep. you know, I have hope. Yes. Well, hang on, after the pickies in the paper, have you received any <laughs> messages on I've Instagram? I've had a few proposals. Yes. Have you? I have, and some reach-outs and some offers of dinner, but, you know, from the profile awesome. photos I've seen. <laughs> are they right. just, like, randoms DM- <laughs> these, DMing you? These are randoms, and then I got a guy from Bumble who reached out yesterday and went, hi, we, we matched on Bumble, I saw you on news.com. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I was like, What are you going to okay. do about it? <laughs> do we invite like, him to the book launch? No, I don't think we do. I think we just leave it wider. Open. At the book launch, because yes, um, you're I, coming. Yeah, I'm going to be there. Um, I want to know: Will you do a reading? And if so, what chapter do you choose to read from? Oh, Ooh, there's so many I could read from, isn't there? Really, what's the juiciest? Missionary in a moon boot. Oh, okay. One of my favourites. <laughs> favorite. They're the best chapter names. Missionary in a moon boot. Yes. Okay. <laughs> she there couldn't get away. Well, there she's... are many that, that I can't read out because okay. there might be children listening. Give us one more chapter. What's, what's the name of the chapter? Note? Really? Mm-hmm. Go on. Okay. The p- t- almost rings again. There you go. <laughs> That's what I mean. Big fan of Mexican food. Not, e- not many people know that about. Kat. No, no. It's been a long Do time. Do you love in a Mexico. bit of guac? Do you love a bit of guac? Oh, guac. And by that she means avocado. She said guac. Yeah. Everyone I said guac. Yeah, guac. That's <laughs> chapter you. four. How, how therapeutic is it writing about your life? Or are there are there moments where you're like, oh, I don't know if I can do that? Is it therapeutic? I'm really impressed with that question, Fitzy. Yeah. As much as I was impressed with the praise quote you gave me, that was fabulous. Yes. It was very therapeutic and cathartic. Yeah. And obviously, you know, I'm currently between husbands, so spoiler alert, there was a divorce. Yes. But, mm. but to, to write... To a high, high profile. For people who don't know, we do have to yes. point this out. I mean, yes. we know each other, but you yeah. were married to Andrew Johns. Poor the I immortal. Jo- the immortal, yeah. oh. Joey. So he will never um, die. Well, he... Did you get any of that immortality I didn't, get, I didn't even him? get a cape. Um, <laughs> No, but you know what was beautiful was it was writing about actually falling in love with Andrew. Yes. You know, we have we're like we have a beautiful son together, um, and we're seven years separated now. I mean, I don't think I would have written the falling in love bit a year after the marriage sure. went, uh, went yeah. wrong. Yeah. But you know, seven years on, it was really lovely to write about falling. Did in love Did you cry at all writing the book? Yeah, I did. Yeah, actually, yeah. that's a really. That's a, That's deep a nice question. question. They, they have <laughs> depth. Don't forget that. <laughs> you've never cry? seen it in all of the years. I'm sorry about cry that. when you were working here? I did. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think we became friends? You tap on the cubicle wall and see who's sobbing next to you. Oh, oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> oh, I thought tapping on the cubicle wall I loved working here. I loved yeah. working here. Tell me, is there much in the book you wouldn't want your parents to read? Most of it. Okay, yes. sure. Most you only gave a copy to your mum, didn't you, not your dad? Well, dad's agreed not to read it. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So you did a deal the there. What's feedback from Mum been? Mum's also not sure if she's going to read it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Has anyone read mum, it yet? Mum, mum struggles to like... listen to the podcast, Sarah, and she I do. Does, yeah. And your yeah. mum doesn't like Mexican food. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Oh. She, well, if you the read Anne and Pete cream. Love but... Story, you will know that my mum only had the one <laughs> love of Mexican. Yeah. My, I think my main thing is you don't have to be divorced by the book. You just have to sure. believe in love and want to have a bit of a giggle, mainly at my expense. Who doesn't love love and a laugh? Do you know? Exactly. Yeah. And at the same time, the that's amazing. Spoken. Well, Kath, she fit in so well onto this show because we self-deprecate on this show as well. And she's so honest in this book and very funny, the way that she looks at life in a different way. Anyone, you should go get this book. It's called Currently Between Husbands. We love you, Kath. Thanks for coming. Love you. Thanks for having me on. Thanks, Kath. Bitsy and Whipper.